You know what time it is. Let's get it. to you a little late this evening but nevertheless here we are come i forgot what my little line was oh come with me come with something about the fuck we had is me we gonna get it let's listen hold on tight we got it for you here it is the strawberry letter thank you nephew subject so so darn funny mm. dear Stephen shirley i've been married for 18 years and i'm dating a younger lady on the side i know mm. what you're thinking but my wife stopped having sex with me two years ago, and she got smart during an argument and told me I could do whatever I needed to do on the side because she didn't want me anymore. It hurt like heck, but I moved on and met someone new. True, my you side with your wife. But your she and her husband have been living apart for four years. And they not I'm together. And my girlfriend so why are you and your side chick not living together? She's tall and thick with a tiny child. You guys are ready. It was love at first sight, and no, uh, I wanted nothing no. more than to make her mine. We didn't rush into sex because I haven't been with another woman since I met my wife 22 years ago. When we finally had sex recently, I admitted I was nervous. Hmm. She thought it was sweet, Aww. and she jokingly said she takes good care of me. When I kissed her neck, she giggled. When I rubbed her skin, she giggled. Every new position, she giggled. Damn. I, I was showing out, but every few seconds, she giggled. Ooh. I looked down at her. She had tears in her eyes from all the laughing. I asked her what was so darn funny, and she said she could tell I had been married a long time. Aww. I was offended, but I played it off, and I let her take control. I wasn't expecting what came next, and she had me holding on for dear life. I got caught up in her long legs and couldn't breathe at one point. Since that night, she's been teasing me about wanting more. I don't have the confidence to do it again. Am I out of my league? Damn, did she work you over? Trying. Hmm. Okay, let me get this straight. Let me yeah. get this straight. Get one together. Second. You were asking You were asking Steve and I to help you be a better lover for your side. Well, not really necessarily. No, not really necessarily. I mean, is it over, over between you and your wife? And I guess according to you it is, but you guys did try to make it, you didn't try to make it work anymore after this, right? Because your wife practically gave you away when she said she didn't want you anymore. Pretty much. You to do whatever you needed to do on the side. That was like a permanent hall pass. I'm sure that hurt, like you said it did, and it's been two years. Uh, so... What I don't get is why you guys didn't just get a divorce. I mean, do you still do things together? You just don't have sex? It sounds pretty complicated. You're legally married, but living single. And this sounds like it's working for you. I mean, you must have some sort of understanding or arrangement going on here. And, and mm -hmm. your girlfriend must, too. I, I don't know. Anyway, fast forward to the side piece. Uh, you may not have the confidence to do it again, but she sure wants you to do it again. She wants you to do it again with her. So uh, that should get your self-esteem, your confidence up a bit, right? Obviously, she crushed your ego with all the giggles and everything, but she didn't stop. She didn't leave you. She didn't make fun of you. She didn't even tell you to go back to your wife. So she's obvious, she obviously likes something about you, mm -hmm. and maybe she can teach you a few things. So now the ball's in your court. What are you going to do, Steve? Yeah, what is so damn funny? Christian answer. Hey, what this letter's about? Mm -hmm. This ain't about no getting your bed, work out, because y'all talking, y'all still do things together. The subject is what is so damn funny. That's what this letter's about. The hell are you laughing at? That's what the letter is about. I'm mm. 
Hey, you trying to kill a little defendant. Trying to kill a little defendant, see? Funny, cause I want to know too. What's so damn funny? Okay, guys, here we go with part two. Let me, let me pay attention this time, so I can be ready to talk. Too, but he hadn't had sex with any woman in 18 years besides his wife. Excellent. Her 
there in a corner somewhere sucking his thumb. You ain't got the confidence to do it again. I don't understand. Rolled your ass to death. Position, the right time, the right spot. That's gonna start. Oh, sorry. Oh. 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 H up, spit you out. Oh. To go back. Oh. Sucking his thumb. Child, what you say? <laughs> Girl, child. Post your comments up today, strawberry letter. Okay, here we go. Yeah, um, that 20 year difference has something to do with First of all, y'all been together 18 years. Last two years of the 18 years, y'all didn't do anything. And then you met this lady who's 10 years, 20 years younger than you. And she done been separated from her husband for four years. So a number first of all, let's get it let's, let's, let's be clear about something. First of all, okay. That four year separation. Let me tell you something about that four year separation. And I don't know nothing about separation. As to yet. Okay? As to yet. Here's the thing. In that four years, she done learned some things. And she 35. Baby, at 35, I was in my prime. Well, yeah, because the hell have to muscle my prime then. I must be exquisitely in my prime now, but anyway. Um, yeah, she ain't been with her husband in four years. They are separated. What you think she doing on her days off when she, if she ain't got no job? What you think she doing? She is sitting there um, learning some new stuff. She is either experiencing it firsthand or she is um, learning from it on, on, on Obama's intranet. Now, you can take that either way. But old girl done got some things going to see. You only been out in the world two years. She got two years up on you. Let's be clear. Plus, you forgot. You only been with one woman in 18 years. And you ain't been with that woman two years of the 18 years. And she 20 years younger than you. She been on the streets for four years. You only been in the streets for two. She done been throwing them legs up, down, left, right, in, out. She been jiggling them, wiggling. 
What you been doing? Bro, what you been doing? You wasn't doing that. You wasn't doing that. You probably was over there begging your wife, please let me see a little bit. Let me see that. You and um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You get what I'm saying to you? So yeah, um why you and the side chick ain't moving together? Because she ain't living with her husband. You ain't with your wife. What kind of bullshit that is? They still mad, but they don't live. Well, I can understand that. Okay, I can understand that. But here's, I don't, I don't understand y'all little situation because you and her ain't together with your significant others, but y'all won't move in with each other. But then again, you did say you scared of her now. I might not, you might not want to move in with that lady if you that damn scared. It's the whole age difference and... And the fact that your wife, see, first of all, wait a minute, hold on. I forgot a whole part in this letter. The wife says she ain't want nothing to do with you no more. Go and do what you got to do. So how you should have started that letter off was more in the rest of, more, more in the way of, um, my wife said, after 18 years of marriage, my wife said two years ago that she didn't want no more to do with me. And I ain't had nobody in two years. Do my is my wife cheating on me? So when I finally did get somebody, I wasn't adequate enough for her. But was my wife cheating on me before the two years of me and her not being together? You see, you left out a whole portion of that damn letter. You left out a whole portion. Child, this lady in this room here is so amazing. But let's be clear about something. Your girl got some flaws, so please y'all don't be paying attention to my flaws. But anyway, yeah, bro, the math ain't math. You need to go back and get you somebody ten years younger than you. Somebody 45. Because 35 ain't working for you. You 55. She 35. There's a 20 year difference. Get you somebody 45. You ain't had sex in two years. She done been separated four years. She been out here slinging it from left to right, up and down, in and out. You ain't prepared. You are not ready for that girl. So please do me a favor, bro. Go find you somebody 10 years older than her, but 10 years younger than you. Right in the 45 range. 45 to 50 year range. Somebody that can deal with somebody that's slowed down with you. Somebody that's already been in a relationship and a marriage that understand that after a while, you know, things tend to slow down. Because her marriage was young. She hadn't been married since she was about 20 some odd. First of all, like I keep saying, you 55, she 35. That difference, that age difference has a lot to do with it. So, bruh, Call it a day with sis. Find you somebody within the 40 to 45 year age range. Somebody that's been married in a long term relationship for a couple of years. A grandma, if you will. Because right now you got somebody mama. You don't need nobody mama. You a granddaddy. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that you may be a granddaddy. Yes, I'm rocking in my recliner. Um, I'm assuming that you may be a grandfather. Your wife may be a grandmother or ex-wife or however you want to put it. This chick that you, your side, why you call her your side chick? She ain't your side chick. Well, technically she is, but she ain't because you ain't married. Well, you are, but you're not. Get out of that because you're confusing the hell out of me. It's too many numbers, too many years, too much stretch. Get out. Get you somebody between the 40 to 45 year age range. Well, she's still young. But she ain't young. She ain't that young. And maybe that'll be able to deal with you, cause apparently system been in the world, honey. System been out in the world, and you don't need that, cause you ain't worldly yet. I ain't heard you say not one thing about social media. Nothing. You not out there. Or get you somebody that's not out there, but out there like you. But yeah, this your girl, Miss Benjamin Buttons on one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know how I go. I'm out.